each of you must file a separate Schedule C. So in other words, you would think the easy thing to do is to say, hey, look, we're married. Uh, we're going to file one Schedule C and basically allocate between the two with regards to the income for our contribution to Social Security, basically evenly because we're married and we're like one, we're like one combined being at this point, at the point of marriage. And you might be able to do that under the rules for the community property rules. But here we're saying two Schedule C's. So if you had a 50-50 split between the two, and you might be able to do then other splits this way, but then you'd have to report two Schedule C's and take the line items of each of the Schedule C's, right? And report your, your portion uh, of it so that the two Schedule C's will then add up to the total Schedule C and you could see why that would be kind of a pain to do, but it would it might be easier than filing a separate partnership tax return, and it would properly allow you to allocate the social security between the spouses in accordance to their social security numbers, which can properly allocate hopefully the benefit calculations at retirement for social security. So for more information, you can see qualified joint ventures in the instructions for Schedule SE.